Climate change continues to cause long-lasting damage to our planet. We all know renewable energy technologies are a great solution to combating climate change, but did you know these technologies still need refining to make them really useful? Engineers are now looking to nature for help. Biomimicry, or learning from nature, might be the solution to improving renewable energy technologies. This awe-inspiring phenomenon shapes our new energy unit. Students are introduced to their career profile for the unit. John DeBerry, a bioengineer, improving wind turbines by taking inspiration from schools of fish. This design may seem fishy, but these small turbines require less land area. Curiosity is encouraged within this unit with practical activities being placed prior to content lessons. This creates cognitive dissonance and encourages students to explore their own ideas about energy before they're explicitly taught about energy forms. The second section of this unit explores energy in innovative ways. Students unravel the complexity of kinetic energy by comparing the kinetic energy of Alison Felix, an Olympic gold medalist, against Sarah, a cheetah with the fastest land speed record. To examine potential energy, students plunge into a retro comic of two predators who use different potential energy forms to break open a clam's shell. Numeracy skills are integrated throughout the unit as students calculate, plot and analyze energy data. Literacy skills are also supported throughout the unit as the meanings of words are broken down and activities support the development of new terminology such as crossword puzzles. With STAR's new key question functionality, it's easy to identify if students grasp these new skills and met the lesson's learning objectives. In the final section of the unit, students visualize energy transfers and transformations in action with the use of models and various simulations. From everyone here at STAR, we genuinely hope you enjoy exploring our new energy unit.